Welcome to Wheels TV On Demand. We're wild about wheels. This time on Ultimate Garage, a spectacular state-of-the-art automobile restoration shop that has grown from the fertile imagination of a rock star who loves Ferraris to a full-service sports car facility where classic and contemporary are right at home. Some 30 years ago, John Giles, a rock guitar player from the Boston area, was better known as Jay Giles, and his world-famous band cranked out a string of hit records. And that gave Jay the financial resources to turn his love for Italian stallions into a successful Ferrari restoration and service shop, which he opened in eastern Massachusetts. In 1997, KTR Engineering was sold to another local businessman and confirmed sports car junkie Bob Jett. And today, KTR Motorsports and KTR Performance provides an extensive array of services to sports car owners throughout the Northeast from KTR's state-of-the-art 40,000 square foot headquarters. KTR's massive shop is truly an automotive wonderland of equipment, tools, and up-to-the-minute repair and restoration techniques that has resulted in a roster of blue-chip clientele who are not in the habit of entrusting their valuable classics to just anyone. While KTR Motorsports addresses the demands of the traditional sports car arena, KTR Performance provides all manner of services to the late model import or tuner market, which has become a coast-to-coast -coast phenomenon in the past few years. One look around the shop at KTR Motorsports will quickly convince you that this is a place where great respect and fastidious attention is paid to each vehicle. Priceless Ferraris and other exotics, regardless of year, are a common sight at KTR, receiving anything from a total restoration to simple scheduled maintenance. One program at KTR which has proven to be very popular is Dino Day when sports car owners are invited to bring their automobiles to KTR to be given a full examination on the shop's dynamometer, which measures the vehicle's total horsepower at the driven wheels. This 2002 all-wheel drive turbo Porsche churned out slightly more than 437 horsepower on its dyno pull, giving the owner an extremely accurate figure on the engine's output. Another familiar sight at KTR Motorsports is vintage race cars, which are constantly going through a comprehensive regimen of race preparation. Here at one of several vintage events held each year at beautiful Lime Rock Park in the rolling hills of Connecticut's Berkshire Mountains, many of KTR's more adventurous clients engage in spirited but gentlemanly road racing competition in a vast assortment of carefully restored and preserved classics some worth many times their value when they were built in the 1950s and 60s, such as this 1959 Stiletto Sports Racer, owned by KTR customer Dudley Cunningham. Cunningham reflects the attitude of virtually every car owner who depends on KTR to maintain and prepare their machines. I am less than the perfect mechanic, and I'm out there in a car that's capable of doing 150 miles an hour. In fact, this car was clocked at 170 in Daytona. So um, I think I'd rather have professionals look after the car and pay the attention to every detail, crack test, every nut and bolt, check the motor, make sure everything's working the way it should, because otherwise it's your butt in the seat. KTR owner Bob Jett, who personally oversees the services given to his vintage racing clients at events like these, has a commitment that extends far beyond standard race preparation. Well, we have uh... 20, 25 different cars that we uh, support. Uh, there's a schedule of events during the year. We decide who wants to go. And then usually, you know, we fill up the truck uh, back at the shop. It's really important to have the car ready to go so that, you know, the customer enjoys the weekend, nothing breaks, and the car is completely safe. His operation provides a total support system for the vintage racer. With vintage racing, you're combining, uh, you know, the, the, the sheer uh, excitement of driving fast, you know, the whole art to driving and a science to driving, and you know, everybody wants to do well and continue to improve. At the same time, they're doing it with cars that they have a passion about. This is a special environment, unlike any other motorsports venue, where it's more about history, common interests, and a shared devotion, rather than who wins or loses. 
The best thing about vintage racing is the cars. We get great cars, we get great people. Um, we're not going to get picked up to replace David Coulthard in the Formula One circuit, so there's no incentive to be out there and drive way over your head. Uh, we don't get trophies, we pay for our own entry fees, we don't get appearance money. Uh, it's very low key, and yet you can go fast enough to uh, get your attention and uh, shake off the office blues, if you will. Well, you know, the point of all this is uh, these are all car enthusiasts. I mean, nobody's here making money racing. It's all about the cars and reliving, uh, you know, the glory days of racing. Uh, so everybody's an enthusiast. So naturally, when you have enthusiasts coming together, really around any topic, they're going to get along well. They're going to share stories. They're going to look at each other's cars and talk about them. And that's the key to KTR, an appreciation for the great sports cars of the past and a commitment to strengthen the common bond which connects these automotive heirlooms to the present day. KTR's mission is to uh, provide uh, restoration, mechanical fabrication, and rest preparation support for customers of uh, vintage cars as well as new cars. And uh, so we're, our job, uh, about half our business is, uh, is vintage racing. Um, and our job is to make sure the cars are safe, reliable, and perform. Explore your passion for automotive entertainment with Wheels TV, the first television network dedicated to our automotive and motorcycle lifestyles. Get our free newsletter on wheels at wheelstv.net. Like everyone who loves to drive or lives to ride, we're all wild about wheels.